Hi guys, welcome to another episode. As you can see, we had our test station again, but today we're not going to be doing knots. We're going to be doing barb brake test to see just how much force is required. The primary testing we're doing today is to show how strong the barb pin is. We use a high tensile 2.4 millimeter spring stainless barb pivot pin. There's all sorts of types of steel out there. The specific one we use for a good reason. It's way stronger, but it is harder to manipulate and to work and to create the actual pinning system. I'll show you now a video we've just done with it ground away to show you how that pin shape is. It's quite specific for this type of steel. Okay, so here we have our standard spear. Looks quite normal. But when I drop it to the side, you can see there's a cutaway there. That cutaway is to show what happens internally with the pin. As mentioned before, we use a very high tensile stainless pin. I've acid etched this zone to show the carbon steel is darker. You can see the pin is centrally located in the shaft. And the main thing is there's no large mushrooms on either side. By using this high tensile pin, the pin itself stretches the stainless of the barb. The barb is just your 316 grade stainless, or as Americans call it, 316 stainless. The pin though is much harder, so it causes a defined, almost countersunk. That enables it to centralize itself perfectly. And this just gives you an idea of how it works internally. Here we have the machine now set up. We have the barb set into the scale device and we're gonna haul on it the same way we do with the knots. And we're gonna see how it breaks, where it breaks, what breaks. This is not an exact science. This is also not what would happen in a fish, depending how you shoot at what angle through a fish, that load's going to vary. So what we're testing here is how each barb breaks in the different setups with a confined setting pulling against rubber. We have about 10 or 12 millimeter thick rubber. There's two pieces inside there which will pull against it to give it the correct loading point. This will be maintained throughout the exercise. So we're testing like for like. This specific one in at the moment is a fairly well used spear. Got damaged, cut it off. It's now set up on the load cell and we're going to haul on it. Something broke there, just over 200, 250. That showed you something bent and broke at that brake strain. Let's see what happened. There you can see the pin did not shear, but the barb material itself stretched out. That would not be useful anymore, bent offline. And uh, that's a well-used barb already, but it still holds easily 200 kgs in this setup. Obviously, shooting this through a body of uh, soft-bodied fish that would probably tear through the body before breaking. But if that went into the gill plate of a large fish, the chances are you'll get at least 200 kilos of tension. Now I'm gonna set up Another well-used one. Let's see how that goes. Exactly the same position. Same bed it's prepped to go on. Let's see how this one goes. Also a second-hand spear. Theory, it should be about the same. Also, 200 kilos, 
something started to give. Same situation, the barb steel itself, which is 1.2 millimeter 316 stainless, has elongated the hole. We're now gonna use a brand new one. I don't think there'll be too much difference. When I say brand new, it has had a bit of pull test work, but hasn't actually shot any fish. Still functions perfectly as a barb would. Here we go, all on the same position. New spear test. Also around the 200 plus. Again, the barb pin, perfectly strong, stayed in position. The steel itself stretched and elongated out the hole. So now we have same setup, exactly the same spear steel, just polished and not plated in this case, same barb, but now with an ordinary 316 welding wire rod, exactly the same dimensions as the pin we normally use in the higher tensile. That has deformed. Let's see how. It's bent beyond. We stand quite well. What we have noticed with, in the past, we used to use the softer stainless pin. If it gets shot into coral, it often shears it off and the spear comes straight back out without the barb on it. Whereas these with high tensile pins does not. Invariably they get stuck into the coral so tight you can't get the spear back. But there were a lot of complaints that the barb would shear off of a hit coral with the softer pins. Whereas the higher tensile one, that doesn't happen. Quite impressed with how well it does hold up in this jig but this jig doesn't, doesn't exactly simulate a fish, but it did very well considering. Well, there you have it, a video on barb stressing. <laughs>